Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Giselle Mills. For those of you who are new, welcome and welcome back to my subscribers. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the quite popular OrthoTube newbie tag, as you can see from the title of this video. Now, this tag is basically about 13 questions so that I could help you guys get to know me better. So, let's get started. Question number one. How did I find out about OrthoTube? Well, I found out about OrthoTube one day when I was doing some research. This was before I published my book. So just a couple years ago, I was looking into self-publishing because it was taking me quite a long time in order to find a publisher who would publish my book. So I decided I'm going to go the route of self-publishing. So I did my research on YouTube and in doing research, I came across a couple of channels who gave advice on self-publishing and there were related videos that led me to author to you. Question number two, what genres do I write in? Okay, so I like to experiment with different genres, but for now, I would mainly categorize my writing in, let's say, fiction, but contemporary fiction and fantasy mainly right now. But I've also written some nonfiction things as well, and I've published a nonfiction guidebook as well. So contemporary fiction, drama, of course, and fantasy. Question number three, what is my preferred writing tense, point of view, and category of story? Okay, so I generally write in past tense. I find it very, well, much easier to write in past tense than present tense. And my favorite point of view is third person, although I have experimented with first person. And I think from one of my next upcoming novels, I will try first person again, but I usually write in third person, past tense. Question number four. Am I a plotter, a pantser, or a planter? When I first heard this question, I wasn't sure exactly what they meant by planter, so I had to look it up. A plotter is someone who plots, who requires an outline and details to structure this story writing of this story. A pantser is somebody who doesn't do as much plotting, maybe they do as little bit of outlining, but they mainly write from the seat of their pants basically. And a plantser is someone who is a mix of both, I would suppose. Now I would categorize myself as a plotter for sure. I need outlines, I need details, I need structure. I like things organized, so yes, I'm definitely a plotter. Question number five, am I self-published, published, or yet to be published? I may have answered this already, but I am self-published. I self-published my first novel, Through It All, which is this book. I self-published it on Amazon. I'll probably do another video explaining that whole story and process behind my self-publishing. But yes, I am self-published. Question number six, if not yet published, what is your dream publishing house and or literary agent? Okay, so I am self-published, as I said, but I'll approach this question as a not yet traditionally published because I'm not yet traditionally published. And I don't have a dream publishing house or literary agent as yet. What I would want is, I guess, a publishing company who is reputable, some a company that has, you know, links with all the major connections so that hopefully I could get a movie deal. Who wouldn't want to see their book turn into a movie? So yeah, and an agent who would treat me well and respect my wishes. Someone who I could get along with very well and who's very knowledgeable in their field and has all the right connections. Question number seven. What author tube related videos can we expect to find on your channel? Well, on my channel, hopefully, you will find videos about my writing process and also I'm mainly using it to record or document my writing in terms of writing my current book and my future projects and I also intend to give advice well advice based on my own experience I would give advice based on what has worked for me so you will see those videos in time to come as well as vlogs of my writing my reading because this channel is a blend of both author tube my writing as well as reading because reading and writing go hand in hand and I absolutely love to read and I love to write so 
I would love to share my two passions with you guys. So you'll also find book reviews and things about books. Question number eight. When did I start writing? So for me, I started writing when I was a child. I grew up in a house which didn't have very many neighbors. Well, let's say we had no neighbors at all. We had no cable TV. So my mother made my siblings and I write stories and read. So we grew up on books. I grew up on books and I loved books and writing. So my first story must have been when I was maybe five or six when I first started writing. A follow-up question to that, question number nine. What was the first story you ever wrote? Well, huh, I cannot remember the first story I ever wrote, but I probably still have it somewhere. I'll have to ask my mom to see if she has any of my old storybooks at home. She will probably tell you it had something to do with an adventure with myself and a certain elderly character. But it was definitely an adventure story. Question number 10. What authors have inspired my writing the most? Off the top of my head, I could think of hmm, maybe two. I really love the books written by Mildred D. Taylor, the historical fiction. I really, really love those books. I have all of her novels in that Logan family saga. She wrote The Roll of Thunder Here, my cry novel, and all the other books in that series. And I adore, I adore that historical fiction series. Mildred D. Taylor, for sure, she has inspired my writing as well as Harper Lee, who wrote To Kill a Mockingbird. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the book. If you haven't read it, you must have heard about it. And I love that story as well. I love the way how it was written. I love the, how the messages were portrayed. So yes, those two authors definitely inspired my writing. Oh, and I could throw in a third, C.S. Lewis, the author of The Chronicles of Narnia. Oh, I love The Chronicles of Narnia. You know, they're so imaginative, so they definitely inspired my fantasy writing, at least. And we have a little visitor. Hello, Lamb Chop. <laughs> this is Lamb Chop, my cat. Everywhere I go, she likes to follow me, so yes. Excuse us now. Question number 11. Do I schedule my writing sessions or simply get to writing whenever I can find the time? Okay. Good question. The answer to this is a mix of both. Recently, I've been trying to schedule my writing in terms of knowing that I have to write every day, but not putting an exact time as to when I have to write. So, whenever I get the chance during the day, I try to write, but I'm normally more productive at night time. Question number 12. Do I type on a computer, typewriter, or write everything out by hand, or use a blend of these? I mainly write on a computer when I'm drafting my story, my novels, they're all done on my laptop. But I do my outlining both on my laptop and as well as in a notebook. I always love to write by hand first so I can jot out my ideas, what I want for my story. And then I flesh it out on my laptop and of course do all my actual story writing, novel writing on my laptop. And a related question, where do I write in general? Well at home, in my room, at my desk. Although I would like to try writing in public, I haven't done that as yet. Only once I tried in an airport and surprisingly I actually was a bit productive. I thought all the noise, you know, wouldn't help me write at all because I normally write in silence and well as much silence as I could get. I prefer to be in a peaceful, quiet environment. But I do intend to try writing in a cafe one day. And last question, question number 13. What am I most looking forward to now that I'm part of AuthorTube? Okay, I would really like to get to know more authors, more writers. Not just on YouTube, but you guys, if you're watching this video, I'd really like to get to know you guys. What are you guys up to? What books have you read or what books are you writing? So I'm really looking forward to the interactions meeting new people, learning new things, and yeah, helping to contribute positively to the available literature and especially promote Caribbean literature. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. This is the end of my first AuthorTube newbie tag video. I hope you found some of these facts about me interesting, a little bit at least. And if you have, please subscribe to my channel, click that red button as well as the notification bell so you'd always know whenever I post a new video. And don't forget to like this video as well, share it with your friends. 
and leave a comment telling me if you've actually done one of these videos, if you plan to do so, or just whatever you thought about this video. I'm also on Twitter, guys, so feel free to follow me on my various social media accounts. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, and you could also check out my website, which is GiselleMillsBooks.com. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye!